Good day everyone. Uh, my name is Steve Fouchet from Fouchet Lofts. Uh, I've been asked to speak uh, specifically regarding the All Flight Carnival City race. We were fortunate enough this year to win Hotspot 1 um, at Carnival City on the 20th of January. Um, bit of a story behind it. So my dad passed away and it was his memorial service on the 21st of January. So the day that we drove down to, to Peter Maritzburg um, was the hotspot at Carnival City. The father of the hen that won the race for us, the hotspot race, um, was actually, actually belonged to my, my late father. So it had, a, it had quite a lot of meaning to us, uh, seeing that we had never won a hotspot at Carnival City and that, uh, you know, it was his memorial service the following day and that hen uh, then won hotspot one. This is the grandmother of the Hotspot One winner. She herself was third Carnival City in the International Series. Uh, this is off our Janssen Schkelens lines. This is the father of the Hotspot One winner. He's also father of the Eastern Cape Ace Pigeon from 2020. This is uh, the mother of the Hotspot One winner. Uh, her ring number is 52. She's the mother. This is the Carnival City One Loft Race winner. Um, hotspot one, uh, one double seven double three, uh, blue check white flight hen. So a little bit more about the hen. Um, she's bred off a family of pigeons from Carnival City. So her her mother flew the Gold Cup summer race Carnival City the previous year. She finished fifty second in the race. Um, her grandfather uh, was a pigeon with a ring number 178. So he flew also at Carnival City Summer Lofts. He flew three hotspots equal first out of the four. Uh, her grandmother was third Carnival City winter race for us. Um, her grandmother on the other side was second Carnival City summer final for us in 2017. So as you can see, she came out of a family of pigeons that, that specializes in the Carnival City One Loft race. Um, the bloodlines of, of the, the pigeon that won the hotspot is mainly made up, like I say, of pigeons that I've entered at Carnival City previously that have excelled. So mainly Tom Locke uh, from Achbert Kelly at Out of Africa Lofts. And then we have crossed with the Fastrata strain. Now, Fastrata strain comes from Belgium. It's not very well known in South Africa. Um, Roland Xavier Fastrata from Belgium were the Belgium national champs in 2014, if my memory serves me correct, and the runners up in 2015. So they're very well known in Belgium. Super, super fanciers that have been racing and breeding pigeons for many years in Belgium. Um, that's on the father's side. Um, on the mother's side, uh, it is out of our imported Janssen families. So we imported Janssen's from around about 2014, 2015 from Pipa, from Hermann Bierfordam, and from a gentleman by the name of uh, Appia van den Bosch. Um, so we've brought those three lines into, into our lofts, uh, specifically the Janssen lines, and they've performed really, really well for us. So. Yeah, that, that's basically a summary of the family of the birds that, that have done well for us at Carnival. Um, the father of the Carnival City winner is a full brother of my foundation cock. Now, my foundation cock's ring number is 3000. He was ace pigeon in our local club in Randburg 2019 for a gentleman by the name of Clinton Parsons. So I bred the pigeon the year that I finished racing in our local club donated it to him and that pigeon won best yearling and best pigeon in our local club. So he's a full brother to the father of the Hotspot One winner. He himself, 3000, bred first and 10th ace pigeon, um, Hotspot ace pigeon at Carnival Gold Cup last year. So they, they're really, really good pigeons. Um, very true pigeons to our local racing and to the one loft racing in South Africa. Carnival City, I started racing at Carnival City in 2007. Um, so the, the full story is my, my late father started racing pigeons in South Africa in 1957, 1958 in Peter Maritzburg. 
Uh, so it was my late father, Lionel Fouché, and his brother, Pete Fouché, that started. Um, I was obviously born into the family of, for, for, with, with racing pigeons with my brother, Paul Fouché. And um, never really had an interest in pigeons until about 2007, uh, where I was asked by my late father to uh, purchase or to see what was happening with his birds that he had entered at Carnival City Race, which is then what we did. Um, I went online, had a look, phoned him back, he said his birds were still there and that tweaked my interest in how this one loft racing actually works. So participated, we actually were very lucky that year, we finished third and tenth in the final and since then I've been participating at Carnival City with Mr. Hermann uh, van Rensburg. It's a, it's a super, super one loft race in South Africa, very good for South African pigeon fanciers. Uh, and he's, Hermann's also tried to include a lot of the international fanciers over the last few years. Obviously, we understand the import constraints that we have in South Africa, which is a real pity, because I think uh, lofts like Carnival City could be doing so much better if we could just get our import rights into South Africa sorted. Past performances at Carnival City, so obviously the first year, we were lucky enough to fly a third and a tenth. Um, since then, I've had a third, a fifth, uh, second, tenth, uh, fifth ace pigeon, third ace pigeon. Uh, we've had many, many top uh, 10 and top 20 hotspots at Carnival City. And it's just a race that, that my pigeons seem to enjoy. Um, other one loft races that I participate in. Um, so let's go to our local racing first. So I used to race in our local club in Randburg in a club called NWPC um, and I stopped racing in 2017 uh, in our local club. My highlights there were I was second out of 9,232 pigeons uh, in the Gauteng Combine, um, seventh out of uh, I think it was six and a half thousand pigeons. Um, that year I had the fifth best bird in the Gauteng Combine with an average of over 10,000 pigeons. So those were my local sort of highlights. I bred the best bird in our area in Randburg in 2017, the best bird in the club again in 2019. And then my brother races in Peter Maritzburg, KwaZulu Natal, uh, bred him the ace pigeon in, in 2020 as well for his area. I specialize in one loft racing. Uh, so I obviously finished the local club scene in 2017. Took a bit of a break and then carried on with one loft racing. Um, or started again with one loft racing. Last year we participated in the Pattaya one loft race in Thailand. Um, there were quite a few South African fanciers that sent birds. I think in total we had about 90 pigeons. In total their intake was over 9,000 pigeons from all over the world. And yeah, we were lucky enough uh, to send six to the race, six pigeons to the race. And we got six to the final and three in the prize money, which for me was a really, really good performance for only sending six pigeons from South Africa and then to finish with all six in the final and three in the prize money. Uh, we've also participated in the Hoosier race in America. Um, and then obviously Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, which I think is a really good race for our local conditions. Um, we've had 49th Super Ace, 52nd Super Ace, um, at Vic Falls. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically the summary of the races that we participate in. I only participate in one loft races now, and the reason for that is I, I have a young family, and for me to participate in one loft racing, it frees up a lot of my time. So as you can see behind me, I have a very small setup. Uh, I only breed from my premises. We send three to six to nine maximum to a, a one loft race. And then it's, 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 it frees up all your time. You, you don't do any work. Uh, it goes to the one loft race trainers. They do all the work. Uh, the nice thing is that you can compete against the best in the world at the same conditions. So you don't have a gentleman that has a lot of money that can perhaps buy the best medication. Um, and then you, don't, you can't afford that medication. It, it, it equals the playing field, which is quite nice uh, for, for a lot of fanciers. So gives me more time, equals the playing field, and uh, it just suits, suits my needs, and it keeps me in the sport. Yeah, one, one or two other things about the Fouché lofts. We imported 
a pair of pigeons in 2015 from the Janssen brothers. So I don't know, most of you will know the story of the Janssen brothers. They are the guys in Belgium that started pigeon racing, professional pigeon racing. Uh, we were lucky enough, myself, my father and my brother, to import a pair from uh, a dispersal sale of Piet Munders of direct Janssen Brothers Pigeons and they made a huge impact in our loft and my brother specializes in Peter Maritzburg in inbreeding and breeding the Janssen strain. Uh, we've crossed them, the, the original Janssens, with the Hermann Bierfordam Janssens as well as the De Klumper and the Raquette Janssen. So they've also made a huge impact in our loft. Um, some advice for guys wanting to enter one loft racing. Um, so basically what we can do is, or what, what I would suggest that you do, is that just whichever race you would prefer to participate in, go and purchase whatever you can afford from the sales of that specific one loft race uh, pigeons. So for example, if you want to participate at Carnival City, go to the Carnival City sales, purchase pigeons that have flown the Carnival City series, participated in the races and finished the final. Um, and then send those babies back to Carnival City. Likewise, if you want to participate in the Cape Town loft or Victoria Falls or whichever other loft you would like to participate in, Eastern Cape, uh, Diaz, uh, per, try and purchase pigeons from those sales and then mate them together and send their babies back. To me, that's made the most sense. It's, I've had the most success by doing that. Obviously, you have success here and there with the babies from those, from those races at other one loft races. Um, so that's my advice. Um, rearing babies, uh, very important to have a lot of minerals in your loft. So a lot of your grits, your vitamins, mix your grits too. Buy three or four different types of grits. Um, so I go to Turf Pets, to Farid, and I purchase four or five different types of grits. I mix it all. Then I mix wild bird seed with it, and um, we mix hemp seed with it, and that is the morning feed for my pigeons. Whether they're rearing babies, whether they're going through the malt, whatever, minerals, grit is very, very important. They then get their standard sort of feed in the evenings. Um, so yeah, just concentrate on your minerals, your grits, make sure they're getting enough of that, that the supplements in the loft are readily available at all times. Breeding for one loft racing, like I, go, like, like I said earlier, you know, take, take the best birds that you can afford, mate them together from that specific one loft race and send them to the racing. Um, I don't have any other specific, obviously each fancier in the hand likes, to, likes a certain type of feel of pigeon. As long as it's got that pedigree from the one loft race and, and it looks good in your hand, it feels good in your hand, um, and it's got that pedigree behind it, you should have success. Uh, have patience because there's a lot of luck as well involved in one loft racing. Uh, the wind, the rain, uh, all those sort of factors influence it. Um, for this year, uh, the 2022-2023 season, uh, just to finish off, uh, I have sent pigeons to the Eastern Cape one loft race, to Diaz one loft race, uh, to Carnival City winter race, to Victoria Falls, um, we've also sent to, I think it's the Fish, Fish River One Loft Race, which is a new One Loft Race. So yeah, we, we like to try and support, and it's actually the first year that I've tried to support all the One Loft Races. So let's hold thumbs and hope it goes well. I wish all of you the best of luck, and um, thank you for this interview, and good luck to the Pigeon Dover News team. Thank you very much.